Welcome back to my channel. As you could tell by the title of today's video, I am going to be unboxing a very special piece from Gucci's 100th Centennial Anniversary Heritage Collection. So if you'd like to see what I picked up from the limited edition collection, just keep watching. enjoy designer unboxings then definitely make sure you're subscribed to my channel by hitting that little red subscribe button down below because I do a ton of unboxings here on my channel and you might as well go ahead and turn those post notifications on so every time I have a new unboxing you'll get a notification Follow me on Instagram as well because I'm a lot more active on Instagram and in my Instagram stories and yeah I think we can get right into today's unboxing so I actually call me uninformed, had no idea that Gucci actually had a 100th year anniversary collection coming out. And the other day, I was in the Fifth Avenue store to look at baby clothes and pick up some baby girl clothes. And as soon as I walked in, well, actually before I walked in, let me be honest, I saw people coming out of the store with this bag that said Gucci 100. So I was like, oh, clearly it's the 100th year anniversary. But I had no idea about the collection. So when I walked into the Fifth Avenue Boutique, I was blown away by all the different styles from this collection. They have several different patterns in this collection. And it is a limited edition collection, like I said. Um, so one thing about me, and if you're not new to my channel, then you definitely know this about me. I love to get bags that are limited edition or special pieces, not necessarily unicorn bags, but just special pieces that I know are going to be out of production or will never be made again, will be hard to get. And that's how I stumbled upon this bag. So let's get into the shopping bag for a second. Um, I don't know if my lighting is showing you. As always, I am going to insert close-ups of the bag so that you can see the little details as well as just what I'm talking about. So Gucci actually describes this collection as a side-by-side -side tribute to both past and present collections exploring the house's impact on pop culture over the last century. So, like I mentioned, they did have several prints and several styles of the Heritage bags. There's a few, so there's kind of a color pattern for everybody. This is how my bag came packaged. So, being that this is a part of their 100th anniversary Heritage collection, I feel like they paid a lot of attention to detail. As you can see, it is wrapped in... Gucci 100 tissue paper. So this isn't going to be the same tissue paper you get for a regular bag that you're purchasing right now from Gucci. So the bag that I picked up from the Gucci 100 year heritage collection is the Gucci 100 belt bag. And I did get it in the size 100, so there's two different sizes of the belt strap. You can get a size 90 or a size 100. Um, both actually fit me comfortable around the waist, but I do not think I'm going to wear this bag as a belt bag. I probably would wear it more as a crossbody or even just on my arm. So I did go with the size 100 strap. This isn't necessarily even a style of a bag that I would pick, but one thing that made me really like this bag is that the strap is completely detachable, so you actually can use it as a clutch and just kind of make it your own. Out of all the different patterns that have come out for the Heritage Collection, this is the print that has the Gucci 100 logo on it. And I just thought that was super cute. Out of all the styles that had the Gucci 100 prints, this was kind of really the only bag I gravitated towards. They didn't have... 
they really didn't have a big toe in this particular heritage print. Some of the other styles that they had in the collection, they did have bags that I probably would get more use out of, but I just thought this was really special, especially being that it is from the 100th anniversary collection. I love that it says the 100 on it. I love that it has Gucci's signature green, yellow, and gold. <laughs> green, yellow, and red on it. Like I said, I absolutely love that I can take the strap off of the back and use it any way that I want to. I really like bags that are versatile in that sense and the straps aren't stationary because you can make a ton of different looks out of it. As always, I will include some close-ups of the bag and some better lighting. I don't know if you could tell by my window, but it is a super gloomy, fall day here in New Jersey, so bear with me as far as the lighting goes, but I'm trying to make the best of it, and I will include the close-ups in better lighting. So this bag did retail for $13.50, which I find incredibly affordable in the sense that it is from a limited edition collection. It is an all leather bag. And Gucci did just go through a price increase as well. So I can only imagine if this bag came out last year, how much it would be. The inside of the bag is very simple, zippered pocket as well as a flap. I do love this bag because one of the biggest things, if you're not new to my channel, you know that one thing that really, um, well, two things that absolutely need to fit in my bag in order for me to buy it is my EpiPen and my phone. So both actually fit. And my mom has the 13 Pro Max and her phone fit in here as well. I tried that out in the store. So it is super spacious, even though it seems small. It's super spacious. You can get a lot in it. I love the versatility of it. This print is considered the Gucci 100 print out of the collection and it actually pays homage to the brand's retro logo um, as you can see here and then they added the two zeros to it to make it 100. It does have gold hardware and inside of the bag which I will show you in the close-ups i'll actually add a picture right here as well it does have the gucci centennial plaque inside so it's actually a gold hardware um a piece of gold hardware that's inside of the bag that states that the bag is from these 100 centennial collection which i think is super cool so as you can see the tissue paper for the centennial collection also has that Gucci 100 logo on it, which makes it really cool. So you have your Gucci dust bag. So here's the actual bag. Like I mentioned, you have the vintage Gucci logo with the 100 in green, gold, and red on the front of the bag. The bag does have gold hardware, but it does have a brown zipper, which I like because it kind of keeps the bag all one color. On the back, you have this detailing. Like I said, this strap is fully removable, which makes it really nice. You could actually use this as a traveling cosmetic bag. You could use this for so many different things. Inside, like I mentioned, you do have a zippered pocket. Once again, the gold hardware, and that is the gold centennial cereal stamp which I will insert another picture because it's kind of hard to see and then on the other side of the bag on the inside you do have that flat pocket so it does have a lot of space it's very structured my favorite part probably is that little gold detail in there um, that's just different than what's inside of any other Gucci bag and of course, as always, it has the care cards in it. So let's get back into me talking about the bag. So as I mentioned, um, I was first drawn to the bag when I was approaching the Gucci store because I saw people coming out with this bag. And as you can see on the top, has all of their different logos 
throughout the years as well as the bottom so throughout their hundred years kind of showcases all their logos and I just thought that was super cool the bag itself is something super cool I thought Gucci paid a lot of attention to detail being that it is their hundredth year collection to put their logos for the past hundred years all over the bag so I feel like the shopping bag itself is something super cool to keep I really do feel like for a limited edition special 100th year bag and how much detailing Gucci put into making this uh, centennial bag and having the gold plaque on the inside. I do think for $13.50, it is very reasonable um, because like I said, Gucci only turns 100 one time. I'm sure by the holiday season, these will be sold out of stores if they're not already super, super scarce out here. I'm not too sure. Actually, the Fifth Avenue store only had two available, one with the 90 belt and one with the 100 belt. So after I bought the 100 belt, there's only one left there. But I definitely think for the $13.50 price tag, you're getting a limited edition all leather bag. And not only is it a beauty, but it's definitely an investment piece and a piece that will go up in value in the future because... It was a limited edition bag made for their 100th year anniversary. But I highly suggest if you are a fan of... I highly suggest if you are a fan of Gucci and have not seen the Centennial Collection yet to check it out. They have a beautiful blueprint as well. They have a print that says something about music. I'll probably throw them up here if I remember. But they have a ton of options and they're all super cute. This just happens to be the one I picked up and gravitated towards because of the print, the Gucci 100 print. But definitely go check out the collection for yourself. I don't know if it's available in all stores. I don't know. I did go to the Fifth Avenue Gucci store. I hope you enjoyed today's unboxing. If you did, please make sure you're hitting the thumbs up button, leaving me a comment down below, letting me know what you think of this bag, any future unboxings you'd like to see, leave me a little comment. And as always, I will see you in the next video.